Hello, welcome to MHA Digital Communities. I'm Abby, I'm your yoga teacher today and we're going to be going through some standing poses. So first thing to do is just clear some space around you, make sure you've got plenty of room and we're going to come to our first pose, mountain pose. So mountain pose, nice and easy, just standing up. So let's find feet underneath the hips. So check in with your actual hip bones and go directly underneath, that's where your feet want to be. Spread the toes nice and wide and feel your feet really press down into the floor. As you press down, you'll feel this sort of lift up through, out through the crown of the head. And then just take a big shoulder roll back and down to relax the shoulders down away from the ears. You can maybe start to lift the ears up and away from the shoulders. So mountain pose, staying standing tall and strong just like a mountain. Last thing to think about is our ribs. So because of the shape of the spine, the ribs tend to flare out. So just gently draw the ribs in so you're in a nice straight line with your body. Once you're set up there, make sure the arms are nice and heavy and relaxed. We're just gonna take some long deep breaths in our mountain pose. So let's start to deepen the inhale and deepen your exhale. Think of standing nice and tall on a big inhale and then relaxing as you exhale. Take one more just like that, press down through your feet and then breathing out. So the aim through our session is just to keep that breath flowing. So long deep inhales, long deep exhales. Allow the arms to stay nice and relaxed. We're going to start to bring the right hand next to the right leg and just start to slide it down. So as we're taking this gentle side bend, just double check that the shoulders are still stacked on top of each other and that shoulder isn't rolling forwards. So if anything, just gently pull it backwards. We're going to press down into the feet to slowly come back up. So go nice and gently, inhale, prepare. As you exhale, second side, slide that hand down the leg, gentle side stretch. And again, just be mindful of that top shoulder, don't let it roll forwards, roll it backwards. Nice open chest, take a big breath. And then press down through your feet, come all the way back up to stand. Lovely. We're going to go uh, again. We're going to make it slightly smaller movement, but we're going to go slightly quicker. So it's not too quick. So let me show you. We're just going to go down, 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 down. So because it's a smaller movement, because we're going a little bit quicker. So the idea here is to keep the hips really still. So stabilizing the hips, but mobilizing through this upper body. So really feel the ribs moving and the hips staying really, really still. So just pop a little bend through the knees, just so we're not locking out in the knees. Strong legs. And let's take a big breath before we start. Big inhale and a full exhale. Shoulders stay relaxed. We're going to inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So just making sure those hips are staying really still, feeling those ribs moving from side to side. So really working those side body muscles. Keep breathing, keep smiling. Give me all you've got for two more. Then bring yourself back to center. Lovely. We're gonna reach both arms up, take a big inhale, both arms up. And as you exhale, we're gonna take the hands behind the head. Now if hands behind the head is a little bit tricky for the shoulders, just relax the arms or better still take the hands on the hips. If your shoulders are letting you today, let's take the hands behind the head. So we're just gonna to start to separate the elbows. So just take them nice and wide. And again, if you're on the hips, bring the elbows backwards. So what we're trying to do is just open out through the chest. So if you're here, elbows backwards, open chest. If the hands are behind the head, again, draw the elbows apart to really work those back muscles and opening through the front of the body. Either keep your gaze forwards, otherwise just gently lift the chin so you can gaze up a bit higher. And take three long deep breaths. Take a big inhale and a full exhale. Draw the elbows wider. Big inhale. Full exhale, elbows back. One more time. And then release the arms, relax them by the sides. Wonderful. So from here, what we're gonna do now is introduce a little bit more spinal movement. So if I turn to the side so you can see my spine moving. So again, either hands on the hips or hands behind the head. Again, it depends on how your shoulders are feeling today. 
So what we're going to do is roll the shoulders back and down. We're going to send the spine backwards just very gently. And then what we're going to do is allow the shoulders to roll forwards, drop the head. So we're just sending the spine opposite way, backwards and forwards. So if the head lift and the head drop is feeling a little bit tricky for you, just work the spine and the shoulders. So don't worry too much about the head. That's just a little extra if you're feeling up for that today. Hands behind the head. This is your variation. We open the elbows and then we close the elbows. We open the elbows and close the elbows. So pick your variation, whether you just want to have the hands on the hips and just working shoulders rolling backwards and forwards. Otherwise, let's take the hands behind the head. So make a quick decision. Let's pick our variation and let's go for it. So I'm going to take the hands behind the head. So as we're moving the head backwards and forwards, if you're feeling dizzy at any time or it just doesn't feel quite right for you, just don't do it. Take a break. Um, be nice and steady. Take it easy. So let's give it a go. We're going to take the elbows wide, gazing high. That's a big inhale. As we exhale, draw the elbows forwards, a little rounding through the back. And it doesn't have to be a big movement. So just so we're opening the chest and opening through the upper back. Don't worry too much how big the movement is. As long as we're moving, that's great. So inhale, opening up and then exhale, drawing elbows in, shoulders roll forwards. Let's go for one more big breath in and a big breath out. And then gently releasing, bring yourself back to center and you might just want to give your shoulders a little wiggle off there. Fabulous. So from here, we're going to work a little bit of um, balance work. So you can either do this in the center if you're feeling like your balance is okay. Otherwise, we're going to bring the chair in. Great, so if you're choosing to have a chair with you today, make sure it's a nice suitable chair, make sure it's nice and steady on the floor um, and your hands are going to go on the back of the chair. If you're choosing not to have um, the hands on the chair, hands on hips, you can keep throughout until we move the arms. So coming back to that mountain pose with feet underneath the hips. So if you're using a chair, just make sure we're not leaning into it. So thinking shoulders over hips, over knees, over ankles, relaxing the shoulders down. So all we're gonna do really simple to begin with is bend the knees, stretch them out. So inhale, we bend, exhale, extend. So when we do the simple bend and stretch, I want to go far enough so that you can feel a little bit of resistance through the ankles. So go with the knees, going past the toes, so you can feel it into the ankles, just so we can work on increasing that mobility through the, the feet and the ankles. Using the breath, inhale, we bend, and exhale, extend. Trying to keep the chest open, and what's, um, what you might do here is because we're working the lower body, tendency is to look down. So just try and keep the chin lifted and try and keep your gaze forwards to keep everything nice and open through the upper body. Lovely, let's go for one more, bending and extending. So keep that length through the legs, spread the toes. We're about to lift the heels. So when we lift the heels, there might be a tendency to crunch the toes. So take a moment to spread the toes. Once the toes are spread, try and relax them. Now, we're gonna go up. I want you to think of the crown of the head reaching up nice and high. So again, going with the breath, little bit of weight into the chair as much as you need to. Take an inhale to rise up. And as you exhale, slowly control the heels back down. Now, first few times are a few little practice rounds. So go maybe two or three, and then we sort of know what's happening. The body can adjust, lifting and lowering. So with each time we lift the heels, let's try and lift them even higher. So what we're doing is transferring a bit of weight forwards into the balls of the feet, lifting the heels, starting to activate through the legs. Let's go for one more. And then next time you lift, we're gonna hold it. Take a big breath. and then slowly lower the heels back down. Great, if you need a little wiggle out of your feet there, you can do, shake it off. Great, so from here, keeping the hands on the um, chair or again, the hands on the hips, what we're gonna do is transfer the weight to your right foot and just maybe tip toes of the left foot, maybe ball of the foot, maybe tip toes. So we're adjusting that weight over just to press down and lift up through the right side of the body. Now that might be enough, 
just finding that maybe a little hover of that left foot bring the foot back down transition over start to peel the right foot off the floor maybe a little hover bring it back down so next time we go over to the right either again just the tiptoes or maybe a little hover keep the right hand there left hand on the left hip and then just start to pull that left shoulder backwards so we're finding a little bit of a twist there as well if you're feeling pretty good here then let's extend the arm out all the way so working on balance strength through that standing leg nice opening through the chest as well take a big breath don't worry if you wobble pick that foot back up bringing the hand back to chair or hip bringing the foot back down great take a moment find your mountain pose relax the shoulders take a big breath let all the breath go ready for second side so again take your time gently transitioning that weight over peeling the right foot off so again maybe tiptoes maybe you want to keep a bit of weight through that foot you can still take your twist regardless of whether the foot is lifted or not so go nice and steady find that balance maybe a little hover take the right hand on the right hip and let's look over the right shoulder pulling that right shoulder backwards and then if you want to you can extend the arm out all the way take a big breath bringing the hand down and bringing the foot down great there's some balance work for you so from here <coughs> keeping hold of the chair or again you can take the hands on the hips taking a little step backwards and then what we're going to do is bend the knees we're going to round the back here so when we round the back think of sort of scooping in the core so hip bones coming closer to the ribs so you do this little pelvic tuck to round the back so when we think about slouching this is a slouch this is a scoop so it is a it looks the same but we're using different muscles so what we're doing is making that c shape of the spine connecting to the core so hip bones to ribs and think of everything drawing into this center line of the body let's give it a go so a little distance backwards take a big breath as we exhale think of hip bones to ribs and rounding the back and then we lengthen up again so if you want to go a bit further you can bring the chin to the chest but again just be mindful if you're dropping the head any dizziness just take a break if you're here you can still do it with the hands on hips and actually it might be nice to feel the hip bones coming up towards the ribs to round the back and then lengthening out again so just going in between those two so let's find the breath inhale as we exhale think hip bones coming up towards the ribs rounding the back maybe dropping the chin maybe you want to keep the head lifted lengthening up tall spine we go again big breath prepare as we exhale bringing the hip bones up towards the ribs rounding the back and you may feel a slight little lift of the shoulders that's okay here lengthening up let's go again big breath in and then a big breath out to round the back wonderful bringing it back up relax the arms great so if you've been using the chair let's try one more without the chair so again hands on the hips lengthening up through the spine take a big breath transfer the weight let's go for the right foot and then maybe just hovering that left foot take a big breath in and as you breathe out can you bring it higher the answer might be no that's okay take another breath and then bring that foot back down so when we come to balance work i'm not expecting you to be perfectly statue still you're going to find some little ankle wobbles which actually is really good because what we're working on is stabilizing those wobbles so using the muscles in our feet and our ankles and all of those things around the joints to help uh, build up that strength so the wobbles are actually really good for us um, let's go for the second side take a breath prepare and then we're going to gently transition over start to peel the right foot off so maybe just the tiptoes maybe you want to hover it take a breath feel those little ankle wobbles stay tall through the spine crown of the head high with your next breath let's just bring it a little bit higher and then gently release it down relax the arms and you might just want to give your legs a little wiggle out well done today for your balance work let's finish together with a full big breath
So let's just come back to our mountain pose. So rooted down through the feet, standing tall length up through the spine. Think of crown of the head reaching up high and we'll finish together with a big breath. Either keep your arms relaxed, otherwise we're gonna reach them up high. So make sure you've got plenty of room around you. Take a big inhale. If you're coming with me, reach both arms up high, hands meet at the top. As we breathe out, bring the hands to the chest. Big inhale to finish. And then release that breath. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're feeling great after your yoga session today. Hope to see you soon.